So I just left the restaurant after waiting 30 minutes for a day to show up and apparently I got stood up. I don't know what to say. Like I'm trying to do everything right to be a gentleman. I brought flowers. I've been consistent talking with this girl for two weeks, trying to get to know what she likes, what she doesn't like. I made plans. I picked the restaurant, the day and the time. You know, I've done everything to be just the kind of guy that would value somebody's time. Like I just... I'm just looking for my person. I'm just looking for the one that I guess is out there for me. I mean, I want to be somebody's husband someday, father. I'm trying to do everything that's right. I can't just get stood up. Like my feelings didn't even matter. I'm sitting there eating a meal by myself and realizing that nobody even cares about people anymore. Like, Ellie and dating shouldn't even be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard to find somebody. It shouldn't be this difficult to fall in love. To be to kind one another. Like, what? Ladies, tell me, what did I do wrong? What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. At the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. Now, before everybody starts jumping in the comments, because I already know the first thing that's going to come out of a lot of people's mouth is get a passport. He needs to get a bad passport. That brother needs to get a passport. Go ahead and get you a blue book. <clears throat> This is starting to become a common theme that I'm seeing in the comments a lot whenever I'm doing these videos. And I need guys to understand something. Just getting a passport, y'all, it's, it's starting to come off like it's a, like, like a crutch. Like it's just an easy, like an easy out. Now, before anybody try to come for me in the comments, no, I'm not pivoting. But I want guys to understand that this guy needs to work on himself before he even gets to that point of, okay, I'm going to just get a passport and leave. Now, do I agree that a foreign woman would appreciate those kind of sentiments and chivalry more so than women in the West? 1000% you're not gonna get me to disagree with you on that okay I understand where y'all coming from I don't want guys like that to feel like they have to resort to being you know what women consider desirable as far as a guy that's a little bit more of an asshole <clears throat> you know what I mean you can still be masculine without being an asshole <clears throat> and that's what I want to show guys is that just because getting a, a passport is a solution doesn't fix all your problems. You know what I mean? I tell you guys all the time, I'm like, I'm still continuing to work on myself and try to get better and, you know, find, trying to figure out what other ways to make more streams of income, things of that nature. Always constantly working on myself, man. Always under construction, man. You know what I mean? AUC. So, with that in mind, I want to make this very, very clear. This guy needs to work on himself before he even comes to that conclusion. Guys who watch my channel, we, we, we all need to be continuously working on ourselves <clears throat> before we even get to that point. Fortunately, I was able to experience that and I plan on leaving again later on this year, but doesn't mean I'm not going to continue to work on myself. You know what I mean? Like 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 right now my my goal is to put on pack pack on 10 pounds cuz I lost some weight while I was over <clears throat> excuse me, while I was overseas. So always working on, on on ourselves, you guys, man. Don't forget that. I don't want <clears throat> I don't want guys seeing the passport is just an easy out and doesn't mean you don't have to work on yourself. 
you still should be trying to become the best version of yourself regardless and plus everybody is not going to be able to do this passport thing that's something else you need to keep in mind as well you know what i mean because we don't know what this guy's situation is you know what i mean so i just wanted to go over that man all right so let's not waste any more time on to the next clip I think they use gay stuff as like a shaming tactic to kind of control you. So it's like if they don't want you hanging out with your bros, they be like, oh, that's gay. So you think that you shouldn't hang out with your bros? Things we had Chinese kitty gay. here saying that if you go on, a, if a man goes go to, to the, the movies, movies with his homeboys, that's gay. This is the free terminology that Jack could just spew with no ramifications <laughs> or for <laughs> anything. Like so why do y'all call the men that y'all know that don't want to be called that or y'all use that as the way to get to him? Mm. So if you know you using that shit to hurt that man's feelings, why you guys do that? Because we want to I'm hurt just, that man feeling. I'm hurt. just saying what it is. I agree with them. I think this is so stupid. Honestly, I think women do that because they want a man that's all up under them. Like if they if women really had their way, they would have a man who was sociable but didn't have any kind of circle of friends whatsoever. They would want his circle of friends to be her friends. But she'll be the type of girl that'll have a whole bunch of guy friends and expect him to be okay with it. See, this is, bruh, these women are nuts, bruh. What they want is so unrealistic, man. It's a, it's a fucking headache. All right, on to the next clip. Yes, I be with that man. Yes, that man be with me. But are we together? Absolutely not. But can you talk to him? Absolutely not. Do we go together? Absolutely not. Are we together real bad? Absolutely. You know? Hey, wait a minute, what the hell? What is that? Y'all yeah, rather be rich and single than married and, and happy. And this I is- mean, Cause happy and married don't get Let me land this. Sorry, sorry. Okay, I'll let you land it. I will let you land it. <laughs> this is one of the say. biggest gripes I have with the women, especially in my community is because I'm a man and I value, over being rich, I value family and, and marriage. And again, when now when I'm looking to my counterparts and they're telling me I would rather be rich and single over a, fa a happy family and marriage, that to me is absurd. And so this is why some black men, I'm not gonna say all, oh, when y'all see them date outside their race and y'all are confused as to why this is happening and y'all are sitting there telling black men that I would rather be rich and single over a happy family and marriage, then there's a Wait, discrepancy. Let me put my yeah that does not make any sense but when rich guys hear women talk like this <laughs> they wonder why the why these so-called rich guys always got multiple women and they're never tied down to one because if y'all would if y'all would prefer to be single and rich what makes you think a man wouldn't prefer that because men are will happily date down i'm like we've pretty much had to since the beginning of time Women out, however, y'all have a hard time doing that, especially nowadays, because y'all seem to value materialistic things and things of that nature over character of a person. And this next clip is going to be even further proof of that. So hopefully if, if y'all know who that guy was in the first clip, man, tell, tell him to watch this. This is very important because guys like him, y'all need to understand what y'all are dealing with. And y'all need to understand female nature before you ever consider getting a passport. Because female nature is worldwide. Let's keep it moving. Some women don't care. By the time a woman says it's over, she's been thinking about it for weeks and even um, up to a year. Women marry a lifestyle, not the man. Women don't marry potential or a man on his way up. A woman never brags to another woman telling her, boy, he's got a lot of potential. <laughs> that doesn't happen. You've heard people say, women don't care about your struggles. They just wait at the finish line, hoping to hook up with the winners. They don't want potential. You're doing good, honey. You made $1,000 today? Good boy. Good boy. Men looking for validation and approval from their woman? Are you kidding me? You reach out to your friends and share that with them. You don't tell that to her. Never chase a woman ever, 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 and ever. 
Never try to build a case for a woman to go out with you by asking her out multiple times or to convince her to stay with you. If she wanders, she has to go. She cannot stay with you. The problem with many of you is when you break up with a woman, you keep the, the girlfriend porn on your phone, the naked pictures, the stuff that she gave you, everything. It's got to go. Women can change their mind and alter your trajectory with one schizophrenic decision. Never do anything for a woman who is not your wife. Pursue your goals if she wants to join. Keep her at arm's length. Never put your dreams or income at risk. Women never up and leave you to go to nothing. There's always, you know, monkey branching. They hang on to one branch, you. And do you think they let go and fall to the ground? No, they go to another branch, which means another man. When they are grasping firmly on the other man, they can let go of this branch. And now she's being supported by another man. Your problem is to let go of her. When she let go of you and grabbed onto someone else, that is what women do. They never leave and go to nothing. There's always another guy waiting in the wings who's on deck. She's putting herself in front of him every day, and she is 100% sure that he is going to ask her out or inquire into dating her soon. This includes the nicest Christian women. A woman will accept your gift yesterday, go on weekend getaways, celebrate anniversaries, and then drop the bomb and break up with you today. None of this is spontaneous. She's been thinking and planning about this while you were planning your future together. Her aloofness was your first clue. Y'all let me know what y'all thought, thought about this, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting that bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. Hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. It helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel. Unplug Traveler. Link is in the description and pinned in the comments. As well as the merch line, Spreadshot.com, and my latest mixtape, The Genesis. Both links are in the description as well. So until the next video, y'all, deuces.